It's National Signing Day here at Florida State, and today one machine takes center stage, the fax machine. Beginning at 7 a.m., recruits from all across the country will be sending in letters with one intent in mind, to play football for the Seminoles. Let's take a behind-the-scenes look at FSU's War Room, where all the signing day magic happens. To attend a Florida State University. <laughs> You're 17 years old, there's a lot of heat. And all the social media, all the recruiting services that call every day, everybody at the school has got 14 different places they want you to go, an aunt, an uncle. There's a lot of pressure on these kids. And until they sign, you don't ever know how they're going to act on a signing day. I mean, anything can happen. And I've, I've learned that on signing day, nothing is out of the ordinary. Even when they commit on TV, until you finally get that fax, that's what matters. It's easier to work inside out and you keep that good home base of players and then work out, and, and as you go wider, and you keep going as far as you need. And my example of that is when mom used to send you to the store, you always went down to the local store and you got eggs and milk and bread. If it didn't have any, you went to the next store. If it didn't have any, you went to the next store. You kept going across town, and that's kind of how you recruit. You got to work that way and keep going to the, you find the store that has what you need. We had a great day. Thought we uh, really met some needs and uh, got some big time commitments today at the end. Uh, Say a special thanks to our staff. I think our new staff did a tremendous job of going out very quickly and building relationships among the uh, new recruits and establishing uh, who they are as coaches and what they are as, as men. We hit a little bit of every position throughout the whole class and uh, met a lot of needs. This year's class comes a year after 2012, which was one of the best recruiting classes in school history, highlighted by the top recruit Mario Edwards and the top quarterback Jameis Winston. So it's no surprise that Jimbo Fisher and the Knowles were at it again in 2013. For the ACC Digital Network, I'm Amanda Borges.